Yo, what's going on, boys? Uh, today we're gonna do a little quick tier list because these are still relevant. Uh, yeah, I'm just just something quick to uh, hold you over before the next review comes out. Uh, because I know everybody's been asking, what's the next review? You know, everybody's just just cr crying at me. You know, just screaming, "Where's where we want the review?" I know, man. I know. I'm working on it, but um, in the meantime, I thought I'd make this little tier list video. So, uh, I I don't know what's in it. I had my assistant make it for me, so. I'm I'm just gonna be my live reaction, so I you know this is just books, uh, just a quick little literature tier list. My opinions on books. So, all right, let's get started. First up, we got 1984, uh, by George Orwell. Now this is you know this is a classic piece of literature, very relevant to today. You know whenever something something happens that I don't like I always think of I think of you know this is just like this is just like Big Brother I can't do my own laundry what is this this is 1984 what is this uh so because of that just because of the relevancy I gotta give it I gotta give it an S tier uh I've never read it uh personally next up we got uh The Call of the Wild by Jack London, uh, I think I, I read this book in like in like second grade, I think, because <laughs> my cousin said he liked it. Uh, and now, in retrospect, he probably only liked it because he's like a furry. So, uh, yeah, I remember being confused. <laughs> That's all I remember from the book. I think I failed my AR test too. So, just because that, I gotta give it a D, man. It doesn't deserve anything higher. Made me lose AR points. Fuck that book. Next up, we got uh, Catcher in the Rye. Uh, this book, uh, I don't, I didn't read it in high school. I know most people did, but I, I guess for like the books that they force you to read, it's pretty good. I don't, yeah. All I remember from it is people always have that theory that Holden's uh. All I remember for a bit is like people talking about how Holden's a pedophile <laughs> or something, so that's cool. Uh, next up, we got uh, Lolita by Nabokov. Uh, I, Nabokov off the goop for this one, man. <laughs> uh, Moby Dick. Uh, what can I say? American classic. Uh, Herman Melville, genius. It, you know, st my channel blew up after its review, too. I mean, just look at these retention rate numbers. People just couldn't stop watching. Uh, because of that, I gotta give it uh, an A tier. Not S, because they talk about whaling equipment too much. So. Uh, next up is... Uh, this is just a, a PNG of Darlene Straub's profile picture. I, I gotta message my assistant about this one, man. I don't I don't I don't know what this means. It's not even a book. Okay, uh, no longer human. Uh, I read this book, uh, and I remember reading it in the beginning, and he's like, he's talking about like how he's mentally ill and he can't you know talk to people. He's a weirdo, and I'm just thinking like, oh man, he's just like me. But then he started like getting pussy and like having sex and I'm like I don't know I don't know about this one I can't relate F tier next up is uh, Atlas Shrugged uh, I was interested in reading this book for a while and I learned it was a woman who wrote it so uh, next is a uh, Rumpelstiltskin uh, when I was in when I was in kindergarten my uh, they my school would leave out books because they didn't want us using the whole library uh, so they would just like leave out a set of books and every week I checked out the same Rumpelstiltskin book every week and I forced my mom to read it to me and eventually the like the school like called my parents because they thought I was like retarded or something uh, so it's gotta get a B for me man it's a B Ooh, okay, this is a good one. Okay, we got the subtle art of not giving a f, dude. This book 
is where it's at, man. Like, uh, most books are like, ooh, we're so stuck up, you know, we're so high art. But this one is just taught, saying it like it is, man. Saying it like it is. I, I, I'm giving it an S tier, man, because I just don't give an F, dude. I just don't give an F. Next up is Draw Me a Gorilla by Spinach Abra. I I bought this book off Amazon and it's like it's like forty seven dollars, bro. It's forty seven dollars. It's just pictures of gorillas. We're just letting this slide. E tier, bro. Somebody talk to Spinach, bro, man. This is effed up, man. He stole my money. Next up is just a it's just a pic another picture of Moby Dick, I guess. Guess it goes in the Moby Moby Dick tier. We got uh, uh Mein Kampf. Now I hear a lot of bad things about this, you know, in this guy, but I've never read it, so Wh who am I to pass judgment uh, when I haven't even educated myself on the on the book? So uh, White Fragility. Uh, this book very uh really touched me in a way that a lot of books haven't been able to because uh you know i'm white and i'm fragile uh i'm not very i'm very small so uh because uh it's a b for me man i i just related so much it's such a relatable book uh giving me advice to dealing with being white and dainty all right we got got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone uh, this book I liked it when I was a kid but you know it really turned me off when I heard that you know JK Rowling advocates for like like publicly hanging trans women or something messed up like that you know and I just I, I can't in good conscience uh, give it any lower than a, than an F man that's an F for me I mean it's 2021 man let's get we have to do better uh, plus she's British. And last but not least is Stoner by John Williams. Now the reason I have this on my list is because it's a little promo. Next book review I'm working on should be about this. And I will let you know where I will place it on this tier list. Where it will be placed. Will it be better than Draw Me a Gorilla? Will it be in the same tier? As both copies of Moby Dick, will it even be better than a PNG of Darlene Straub's profile picture? I don't know. We'll see, boys. We'll see. Um, so be ready for that. Should be coming out. Should be coming out in June, uh, 2022. Yeah, I got a mile on me.